Hi everyone, this is Alexis, a Tala Prism Technical Architect at IOHK. The centralized digital identity is key to unlock a whole lot of new use cases for blockchain, but how does it work internally and how does it relate to Cardano? Let's dive in and take a look. Today I will talk about the Atala Prism SDK, which is the official software development kit used for the Atala Prism project. While this is a private right now, it will eventually be publicly available so that you can give Atala Prism a try, as well as you can go and do any integration if you ever require to do so. This presentation is going to use the Cardano testnet for posting deeds and verifiable credentials. And we are going to go to the Cardano Explorer in order to check that those transactions are being posted properly and get confirmed. What you are looking into right now is the official documentation website that we will eventually release. And this talks about the SDK that was built using Kotlin multi-platform which targets Swift, Java and JavaScript so that you can do any integration in any of those languages. It includes some tutorials and references like the usage tutorial and integration tutorial depend, depending on what you need we have it covered here and also the extensive reference for the gRPC API that we use for the backend services. Let's go to the code example that I had prepared for this presentation. We are targeting to run a very simple use case, which is an issuer that is willing to issue a credential for what it requires to generate the deed and publish it to Cardano. For this presentation, we are using the Cardano testnet so you should be able to see the transactions flowing into the Cardano network by exploring the transaction in the official Cardano Explorer. Then there is a holder involved that will generate an unpublished deed, which is the same deed but it does not touch the Cardano network at all. This deed is going to be used for the credential that the issuer is going to issue. Then the credential will be issued and published to the Cardano network. And at last, there is a verifier involved who is willing to verify the, the, the credential that the holder has, which is done by resolving some data from the Cardano network. For dealing with the Cardano network, we have written and designed a second layer protocol which uses the Cardano metadata for embedding some data that specifies when a deed has been published, when a key has been rotated, when a credential has been revoked or when a credential has been published. All of these will eventually be available to the public so that everyone can play with it. Mm. Let's continue to the example. I have already run in the Atala Prism node in my computer in the local host and apparently there is an operation that just happened. We have some integration tests that are posting data to the Cardano network in the testnet and as my node is syncing with the Cardano testnet for some reason it found that there is a transaction somewhere and it applied it. When you run the Atala Prism node what will happen is that it will scan the whole Cardano testnet looking for Atala Prism transactions in the way that it just found one. So let's run the example. It will start by generating a deed for the issuer. Let's proceed. It's generating the deed and what happened there is that we see the deed that was generated but also we get a proof by getting a transaction ID with the Cardano network. We can take this link to open it in a block explorer. Well, th this is the block explorer URL. And look what's happening there. Before doing that, let's look into the, into the Atala Prism node. As you can see here, below the previous logs, we also see that there is a new request for creating a deed. 
it has the DIT data usually call it the DIT document it has some keys involved, some signatures then it has a response which is what we already saw let's take the link related to the Cardano transaction and we see it here here, 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 here you can see the transaction actually happening it has three confirmations as of now it has a transaction fee involved and it does have some metadata this metadata it's basically what you see here encoded in binary data and then posted in the transaction itself eventually the node will pick it up and then it says that it has found one Atala object in this block and it has applied the operation successfully as we are doing this we know that this is the operation for creating a deed let's go back to the example and it's time for the holder to generate its deed which doesn't touch the Cardano network at all if you see the prism node logs there is nothing new then we can proceed to the next step that is going to actually generate a credential from the issuer to the holder this is also displaying a warning about the confirmation time that might be required by to get the, the Cardano transaction confirmed it prints some details like who is the issuer, what's the Cardano transaction ID it has another link to the block explorer that I will copy and show, show it later it has some other data like the content of the credential which is based in JSON it has some fields like who is the issuer that you can see here what key has the issuer used in order to sign the operation which is required for verifying the signature what's the subject involved in the credential and we see the deed from the holder that we generated before and it has some other details as well we see some data like the inclusion proof that is necessary for verifying the credential and a batch ID involved this happens because we are not sending a, a single credential to the Cardano network what we have done is instead we create a batch of many credentials obviously for this example the batch contains a single credential only but you can go and put a thousand of credentials there and it will just work the only difference is that you are going to get one proof for every credential if we go and look into the Cardano node uh, sorry to the Tala Prism node we will see that there are new operations here for example there is a request to issue a credential batch it's another operation it has some details like who is the issuer was the Merkle root involved into this credential issues it has the response and apparently this operation has already been applied if we go to the Cardano Explorer I will open the new transaction we see here that it also has some metadata involved in the transaction itself if you remember what I said before this operation that has been posted in the request to the node it's what has been encoded in binary data and was posted into the Cardano testnet and that's it let's continue with example now it's time to start running the verification but given that the deed it's a mutable document because you can go to it later and add a new key, rotate a key or do some other operations in the same way a credential can be revoked at a later time in order to be able to verify a credential you need to make sure that the issuer is, is still valid given the data in the Cardano network state you need to make sure that the credential hasn't been revoked which is posted in the Cardano network and there are some other checks like the key validity checks, signatures, etc but anyway, in order to do that first we need to go and resolve the data from the Cardano network which is done by using the node so you see here that there are some details from Uh, these, these are the details that we are querying from the node 
for example, the first request is go and resolve the DIT document for the issuer, which is this. It was found because the Prism node had already indexed it. Then it's looking for the credential batch state, given the batch ID that we saw before. And it was found because the operation was already applied. And then it's looking for the Cardano to the Cardano network for the revocation time of the credential that we are trying to verify. It says that there is no revocation time, which is true because the credential is still valid, no one has revoked it. And using all of these details, we can proceed to verify the credential. Now it says that the credential validity check has passed. We have verified the credential that we issued in this example. There are no more operations to the node because when we have the, all the necessary data, this can occur locally. And then we can go and check a little bit the code just to get uh, familiar with it. Overall, it's pretty simple and it's explaining in the SDK documentation. You can see the first step that was issued was generating the deed for the issuer and getting it, it posted in the Cardano network. At first, we generate a key then we create an operation and we then we use the node in order to send the operation to the Cardano testnet. Then as the second step we are generating the unpublished deed for the holder and the only difference is that we are not publishing this to the Cardano testnet. Then we are creating a credential that is based in JSON. It has some details that we already saw but they were encoded like who is the issuer, what's the key used it for signing the credential and what's the subject like the holder's deed and the certificate that's just a plain text and then we include this credential in a batch with a single credential but it's still a batch as I said the reason for this is because we want to be able to issue a thousand of credentials or even more if that's your use case by paying a single Cardano transaction fee this is especially useful because you, shall not, you might not be able to wait for a thousand of transactions to get confirmed by the network and it's also cheaper so it's a pretty handy thing to have then we start resolving the details after publishing the batch to the Cardano testnet we start resolving the details in order to verify the credential we resolve the DT document by invoking the node we get some other data like the related key from the issuer that has issued the credential, what's the state of the batch, what's the credential revocation time, and at last we just run this simple method to go and check what's the validity. Right now this method it's going to throw an error which includes the validity checks that are failing, but as you saw there was no error being thrown which means that the credential validity check has passed. And that's it. I hope you have enjoyed it. this sneak peek into our project. We will be sharing all documentation and more details in the coming months. Thank you. <laughs>